Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and today we're doing a glueless lace wig install. Now the emphasis on this one is the hairline. I'm going to show you how to cut the lace and make it blend super flawless. Now when I say glueless, this is literally like the most like skilled thing you need to be able to know how to do is to apply your wig glueless, make sure the lace is perfect and it matches and just everything is amazing, especially when you don't have that baby hair to like finesse and like cover up any mistakes you make i did an awesome job i think and i think you guys can definitely learn a thing or two if you are in the market for a little bit of help so this one is a buzz down middle part and it does come from my first wig you guys know i love my first wig and i love to work with them i love their wigs because literally um their motto and their name is literally what their product is all of their wigs are very beginner friendly they have all different lengths all different styles all different colors and textures this one here is a beautiful like light yakky texture it gives relaxed hair in the sense that it's not like shiny and silky it gives Beyonce vibes I like how Beyonce's hair is never like silky but it's also not like blown out and kinky absolutely gorgeous I went ahead and just silk pressed it really nicely and I gave you guys again a good really good glueless install so so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Be sure to check out the description box for a direct link to this wig, as well as like all the details and everything like that. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are on a road to 300K on this channel. Now let's get into the install. Okay, ladies, jumping right into it. Hair care is more important than anything. So starting off with a little moisture for the hairline, I'll have the Mayo Drops linked in the description box. And I've been doing this a few times throughout the week just to keep my hairline moisturize before we put that wig cap on top this is the packaging and how i received it they did provide the portable wig stand which i love so much and this is the wig itself this is the inside construction of the cap this is a 13 by 4 lace wig 130 percent density the knots are deep bleached it's 20 inches in length and the texture is yakky and it definitely mimics african-american hair when it is relaxed absolutely beautiful they did include this really nice custom elastic band inside it is adjustable like a bra strap and you're able to just help to secure the wig a little bit better on your head so for the install let's go ahead and get into it i cut off the excess lace at the nape and then i adjusted the straps back there as well for a little bit of extra security putting the wig on you guys see i put on the elastic band first and i kind of use it to kind of press down my braid so that i can give an even more flat install and then this is what the wig looks like on so bust down middle part you guys already know i'm here for it first thing i notice is how flat and flush the wig is along the hairline so this one is definitely going to fit glueless it's pre-plucked to perfection so we really are just going to be able to cut the lace um, and not even have to bond her down which is genius for a frontal so today I'm going to be specifying how to cut off the excess lace I am using these tiny scissors and these are a little bit more for precision and I'm just cutting off a little by little as far as the lace goes I cut off the lace around the ear on one side and I'm showing you what it will look like with sideburns next I'm going to cut off the lace on the other side and I'm going to slow it down a little bit so you can see exactly what I do so I cut off a little bit around to just you know be able to see because the lace was a little bit long around the front and then I kind of section off the part that I want to cut off and this was as much as needed to be cut off you don't want to cut off too much because you want it to kind of like hug the ear as you see here but also have a little bit of excess if you choose to have baby hair I don't want baby hair so you're going to see how I continue to cut the lace until I get it to how I want it now I'm going in with my tiny scissors which to be honest I do as of late like these more than like the eyebrow razor and I like to do just little snips where I kind of like separate the hair from um, like the hairline and anything that I want to be cut off so if I wanted to mimic my hairline anything that I want to cut off as far as like digging into the hairline I will pull forward and you just kind of snip slowly and this is what we cut off it's always a better idea to cut off not enough than to cut off too much 
here I'm assessing if I need to cut off any more and I'm pre pretty much pleased with what I cut off around the hairline. I am going to cut off more around the sideburns but here I'm showing you what it's like to keep that extra right there. It's kind of like an ear tab where if you really want to bond it down from ear to ear you would keep that extra lace. Because we're going glueless we will be cutting off more. Now I'm cutting off the excess lace on the opposite side and as you guys can see it's definitely giving what lace as we cut along it you really just can't even see what's been cut because it's blending with my complexion so well and then I kind of get a little bit of like lifting the hair up and I'm just lightly or like slowly cutting little by little and so I cut off all that I need now I'm going to go on this side and I'm showing you that like you see how it kind of like flips over that's not going to fit glueless so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off again if I want to bond it down and I want like super thick baby hair and all that I would keep it but just for a glueless fit anything that like lifts and buckles needs to go now let's go ahead with the wax stick. This is one of my favorite products to use along the hairline as well as the parting. You guys know I love a good dynamic duo and this is how I really, really, really get everything to look amazing whether you're bonding it down or not. Here I'm cutting off a little bit more and as I said before, typically like for me, I would just cut it all off, you know, the first time. But showing you guys that it's very, very like normal to be able to just cut off a little bit work on a different part cut off a little bit more until you're comfortable and yes i did burn myself with all the experience i have i still burn myself here's a close-up of the hairline once you kind of press it out a little bit pressing out your hairline will definitely make the like pre-pluckedness of your wig kind of pop out a little bit more now this one came set as a center part so i'm just going to go ahead and clean up the parting space and i just went ahead and just made it as straight as i possibly can and we're going to repeat the steps of the dynamic duo using the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb to get it on flat flat if i did not mention this one is indian origin hair of course there's a direct link in the description box now i want to do this hack i've been doing lately i'm just taking the spritz on the back of my hand warming it up and just applying it along the hairline this is going to help it to melt i don't want to bond the wig down i want to keep it glueless but as you guys seen it kind of stand it out and we want it again to blend and melt so hashtag coffee break you can definitely see what a huge difference that made now i'm going to go in with the fenty concealer you guys know this concealer is my favorite for parting it's definitely too light for the hairline um but i love it and how it looks on me in the parting i did decide to go in with a black hairspray to perfect the parting which kind of messed up my work so i went in with this ruby kisses concealer palette to just cover up the mistakes i made from that black hair spray but the hairline or the parting rather is definitely a lot cleaner after that black hairspray now i'm going in with this foundation and this one is from maybelline and i'm just going in to uh, melt the lace color wise into my hairline and it did kind of stick with the spritz so i'm lifting it up because again i want you guys to see this one is going to be 100 percent glueless i just use the spritz to make it melt not to bond it down if that makes any sense I set it with a different Ruby Kiss powder. This one is foundation, not liquid. And then I put the melt belt on top to set. It's not a Nashley tutorial if I don't use the uh, heat protectant after I've already used heat. So I did apply that chi along the ends. And I'm just going to go in and silk press it as much as I can and get it to amazing silky flawless texture the hair already had a nice sheen to it i love that it mimics african-american texture like when it's um like permed it's actually very very beautiful in person and it gives more of a natural look on my complexion and my skin as a brown girl i love the lace on this one i love everything about the customization of this one all of the details on her are in the description box including a direct link so don't forget to check that out this is the before and after and i did the opposite side off camera absolutely gorgeous 10 out of 10 i'd highly highly recommend okay ladies so i just did my makeup and it is 229 i have to be at three or i have the girls to swim at three so i got about like 10 to 15 minutes before i gotta go but i still gotta you know get them together and get their swim bag together so i did do my makeup off camera um and i just wanted to make sure i showed you guys what the wig looked like freshly done just in case the kids go crazy on me and have me looking crazy out here 
the melt belt is definitely going to make it melt because I did use a uh, foundation and I did just do my makeup. I knew that I didn't take my melt belt off to um, match it to my hairline. So I am just, I did just bring my foundation or yeah, my foundation brush, my powder brush with the leftover residue for my makeup to go ahead and just blend the hairline. And again, that's only because the melt belt was on. So it didn't, you know, I didn't get any makeup right there. My eyes are watery. I'm going to go no lashes because I just don't have time to do apple. lashes right now. I got apples. This one is not bonded on. It is glueless. I just want to remind you guys I got makeup on, but it is glueless. So that is absolutely amazing. I hope you learned some tips and tricks on how to install your wigs. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.